Hi guys, right, so here's another tip for you. Get some rest. You'll hear it time and time again if you're in any particular elite category. Uh, it's actually timed in or should be part of your program, but it's something that many people take for granted. Uh, for example, if you're training for a marathon at the moment, you may be working nine till five, squeezing in family and friends time, and then hitting the roads several days a week, trying to just build upon uh, your current fitness level. However, rest is absolutely key. And if you're taking the advice of my previous tip by getting a coach, they would have incorporated that in. Avoid the temptation to train just because you feel good. It's something that I encountered before. I thought I was feeling particularly good. So I went and overtrained as a result, uh, got an injury. For me, rest is just as important as pounding the miles, getting the time in, uh, either at the gym or outside, depending on your activity. So if you're new to a specific sport, get a coach and make sure that they're giving you the good, good advice or good quality advice by resting. Resting also doesn't just benefit the physiological aspects of training, but also the mindful aspects as well. If you are lacking sleep and not getting enough time to sleep and you're aware of this, then go to bed earlier. Uh, if you've got certain restrictions uh, based around when you can wake up in the morning, so you have to take your children to school, or you have to uh, take a certain commute and have to leave at a certain time, then avoid the temptation to sit there of the evening watching endless amounts of telly or scrolling through social media. Utilize the time properly and get to bed earlier. It's amazing how just one or two extra hours a week of sleep can change the dynamics and the benefits um, of your training session. So that's it for today. Get more rest and ensure that you're uh, sleeping as much as you possibly can.